Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is we're going to continue on decorating for fall. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm doing it early and I say this in every video, but just in case others haven't seen the other videos, I figure I better say it here. I'm decorating so early and working my way methodically through our home, decorating our home for fall because we are traveling in September and I need a lot of time to do every all of these vignettes that I want to do. So that's why I started at the beginning of August and will continue on through in, into September, I feel sure. Also, our pool is supposed to be started at the end of this week, fingers crossed. I'm not positive, but that's what the fella told us last week. So we're hoping that's going to be the case. So I'm also either going to be incorporating pool footage in with my fall, or I'm going to be creating a standalone videos to show you the progress of the pool being built. So got a lot going so before on. Before we get started here, let me take a moment to ask you right up front here if you would consider subscribing. I've got a lot of fall decor to come, a lot of ideas to bring to you. Hopefully that will help you bring you a little, help bring you a little bit of inspiration for your own home. And uh, I've got a lot to share with the pool going in. And then after fall, we've got Christmas. And this is the, you know, I'm really ramped up at this time of the year with my decorating, you guys, and crafting and bow making and things like that. So I would humbly ask if you would hit that subscribe button. And if you have been subscribed, please do check your subscription again. Make sure you're still subscribed. It is free. It is a free service for you uh, to just so click that subscribe button and click the like button. And then share with your friends and families, hit, hit, click the notification bell, and then click all when the uh, drop-down menu comes up. That way, you'll never miss one of my uploads. I'm trying to do three videos a week. I'm going to try to keep up that pace through Christmas. We'll see how I do. There may be weeks that I don't do that much. Uh, I have a hair appointment on Friday, as a matter of fact, so I'll probably put up a video Either I'll record it on Thursday, put it up on Friday, or I'll do it on Saturday. We'll see. You will have three videos this week, though, I promise. <laughs> so, but anyway, what we're going to be doing in this video is the ivy table, which is a, a table that sits right there. Let me turn my camera, and I will explain about the ivy table. I'm going to have to just show you there in the, that's a chair sitting right here. The family room is over that way. And this ivy table kind of sits on this little wall between the kitchen, as you can see here, and the family room. And you can see the door there going out, going to outside. I have a, let's see if I can pull it up this way. There we go. There we go. You can see the wreath hanging on the door there that goes out to our patio. That is a fall wreath, a very old fall wreath that I made many, many years ago. I'll show you that up close a little bit later when we get over there to, to decorate the tops of the shelf and the top of the table. I am going to be replacing, that is a Thomas Kincaid picture up there. That is the only Kincaid picture I've ever owned and waited for, oh my goodness, many, many, many years to, to break down and buy it. But I decided I was going to buy a new picture for there, and I actually found a beautiful picture for fall on Amazon. Y'all, it was not cheap. I did not want to buy. I wanted to buy something that I could put in that place every year, year in and year out. And Chris, you know, and I talked about it, and, you know, he said, yeah, okay, go ahead. We'll bite the bullet and go ahead and get it. He said, because I do like to reuse and reuse the same things again and again. And the picture is not here yet, though, you guys, but I will show you a picture of it here. And that is what will be placed there by the end of the week. When it comes in, I will show you that whole, the whole design again once that picture is in place. So I'm really excited to get that. I'm really glad we decided to go ahead and, and bite the bullet and pay a little bit more money for it. Uh, and I, I think it will sustain itself really well, you know. I, you can see a couple of command strips here on the side of, this is the side of the, that's the refrigerator there, the side of the refrigerator cabinet. And I am going to create something for there that I will share with you in just a minute. I am going to do a tray design that's going to sit on this side. And I've already done a couple of little uh, arrangements that I'm going to show you. 
I'm also going to be doing a 12 loop funky bow tutorial in this one. You all have been calling for me to please continue with the bow tutorials. Thank you for asking me and I'll be glad to uh, keep doing them as long as I have a place to put them in the design and it doesn't look like I have too many bows, you know. So I am going to do a 12 loop funky bow in this design and it's going to go uh, on something that's going to hang right there. So, all right, without further ado, I am going to put the camera back out here. And let you know that I also have Mischief with Maverick uh, to share with you. And it'll just be at the end. I'll put a montage at the end of, of Maverick. He came to visit us on Saturday and we had a big day with him. Uh, he is such a, uh, Maverick is our grandson for those that might not know. He's two years old and we just adore him. So, of course, you know, we're, we're very proud grandparents here. So, I will share our visit with Maverick with you guys at the very end of the video. So, without further ado, let's turn the camera here and get started, and I will show you my parts and pieces that I'm going to be using uh, in this decor over here, and then when I'm done creating everything here at the table, we'll move over, over there, and we will talk about everything that we've done there at the Ivy table, all right? Oh, I forgot to say why it's called the Ivy table. It's called the Ivy table because it used to have ivy leaves stenciled on that door and on the door on the other side. It's got a matching door on, a, on the other side. And the whole thing used to be a blonde wood color that matched the floors in our other house. And when we moved in here, Chris painted it black uh, to go with our hooker for all of our hooker furniture that you guys have been seeing, the black hutch, the table and chairs, and the desk that sits here. And that's why we painted it black. And I, it's been sitting in that spot. I wanted the ivy table in that spot. Uh, ever since we moved in and that's where it was, you know, meant to go and that's where it will stay. <laughs> uh, and it matches and goes really well with, and I also have a black corner cabinet here in the kitchen eating area. So, all right, you guys, Let I love black, by the way. I love that I have this black furniture. I really feel like it anchors the house well. Uh, it may not be for everyone, but I really love black. I just love the black um, the pop of black. I think it really pops on these floors and in our home. It really does. Not saying it's for everybody. I absolutely don't mean that in any way, shape, or form. I just mean I enjoy having it and I enjoy decorating on it and around it. So don't mean any insult to anybody else out there. Absolutely not. Please don't take it that way. <laughs> I just really enjoy working with it. All right, I'm going to turn my camera here and get you pointed this way, and you're going to be able to see the backs of chairs. It's not a very pretty sight here and the and the and my big uh, light ring, but I usually work with this the camera this direction, so that's the way we're going to turn it. All right, so let me put you down here a little bit. Okay, the first thing we're going to work with is this tray. And this is what I'm going to hang on the side of the, the uh, cabinet there. And I had it hung, for those of you who've been with me for a while, I had it hung up there with a spring design on it. Well, now I'm going to put a fall little, I'm going to make it up to look like fall. So I'm going to use this Happy Harvest little plaque. I don't know where I got this. I tore off the sticker. I have no idea. I've had uh, nothing I'm using today is new, you guys. So it's things I've had in my coffers, except for these. I hauled these uh, gold leaves a while back. Uh, and this whole thing is going to hang over this. Oh, oh my goodness. Come here. Pumpkin plaque. And this is going to hang below it. Okay. So keep the pumpkin in mind. And we are going to make a funky bow. I did this last year, but I need to make a new bow for it. Because you know what? I used the bow I made for it last year on my pumpkin. Remember I said I couldn't remember where I used that bow? Well, I figured it out. I had used it on this little swag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this little happy harvest sign on. And this is going to, I'm going to tie wrap this little swag on and then a big 12 loop funky bow is going to go right there so i made this last year and this is nothing more than several picks turned you know the stems turned on themselves and then i used uh 
tie wraps to tie it all together. And then we'll tie the bow right in the middle of this. All right? Okay, dokie, you guys. Fixing to go ahead and get this little plaque attached on here. And I want it to be in the center. Uh, and the swag is going to come across it this way. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a black um, tie wrap. And I'm going to tie it to the rung up here because y'all, I'm telling you, I have tried every other way and it will not hold this happy harvest sign up in any other way other than if I attach it up here at the top. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll hopefully be able to hide it with the swag. So let me see here. Right in here. Okay, next thing I want to do is to make a bow. So, come on over here with this ribbon. And this ribbon probably looks familiar to you because it's the same ribbon I've been using throughout the series here, or have shown throughout the series. So I have four different patterns of ribbon. I've got pumpkins, move you back a little bit. And I've got this pretty orange foil and I've got the blue with the orange and kind of gold leaf. And then I've got this pretty plaid that I've been using everywhere. And what I'm gonna do, I've got three strips of each ribbon cut at 22 inches long. Three, six, nine, twelve makes a twelve loop funky bow. And let me get my measuring stick. And I'm going to set myself up a pattern. And the best way to show you the pattern is just to go ahead and start making the bow. I'm going to pick up the first strip. I've also dovetailed the ends. Pick up the first strip, fold it right in half, go to six inches, pinch it together right at that spot. Go to the back tail and twist. Then we're gonna to go to the next strip in the pattern. You can see I've already set up one pattern. And then we're gonna set up another pattern, pattern deciding which way we wanna turn the loops each time. And this one we're going to put up from center to center being my thumb. Move to just a smidge. And we're going to go with the orange and fold it right in half. Go to six inches and then accordion it together. See how I'm accordioning it in there? Side by side by side. Don't pile it on the bottom or pile it on the top. And I try to put it in side by side by side and twist. And then one more in this pattern, six inches. Those pumpkins up from center and accordion it in there. Go to that back tail and twist. So there are the first four loops in our 12 loop funky bow all going, it's up the same direction. So we're gonna start the pattern over again. And this time through, we're going to turn the loop and we're gonna to go to six inches, same thing, go to six inches and turn it down from center. And all the way through this pattern, we're gonna turn it down from center, each strip. Down and accordion it in there. Back and twist that back tail forward, at least for now. And then the orange, six 
six inches, accordion it in there. and twist and then the pumpkins six inches okay and then the next time through the pattern we're going to point the loop up from center again we've got one more time through the pattern six inches we're going to put, point all of these loops up from center. Remember my decor this year is, you know, the last few years I've done blue and white and burnt orange. And this year I'm doing more of a harvest design but accenting with blue and all of the harvest colors. I am loving how it's turning out, you guys. I feel like, like I said, I missed it. I feel like I've come home again to my harvest colors. They are what I prefer most definitely at this time of year. Okay, so there we go. Four up, four down, four up. Now I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, lay it across my thumb, kind of go to the center as best you can eyeball it there, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top, use the hand that you're holding the bow with as resistance, get your fingers, other fingers up as close as you can, wrap that other hand around and twist, 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 twist. Okay, and now the most important part of any, I can hear y'all saying it with me, <laughs> is the fluffing. Take as much time as you need to fluff out this every single loop in this bow. Get your Put your hand on every single loop. If the tails, you know, if you want to go in the back and separate the tails out, that works. If you want to let them come up in between the bow, that works too. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get it on the swag and I'm going to get it on this on this tray, if you will, and uh, then I'll finish fluffing. But for right now, I'm going to cut down my pipe cleaner a little bit. And I'm going to take, look how pretty that is, you guys. I mean, really and truly, it's a little crazy right there. That one went a little bit crazy. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> let me find this one's tails. You can always do this too. goodness. Anyway, I'm going to take this cable tie, tie wrap, zip tie, whatever you call it, and I'm going to feed it behind the pipe cleaner that I just shut the bow with. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to tie it on this swag. And I'm going to take a couple of more tie wraps and I'm going to go ahead and loop them around behind here like this. We'll do three of them. And then I'm going to turn this over and we're going to attach it to this tray. So let me start with this one. Come 
on here with this one. Finish off with this one. All right. Now I'm going to cinch it down. Just like that. one. There we go. Now you can kind of see where I was going with this. We'll fix that once I hang it up. All right, now I want to fluff this bow. And then we're going to move on to the ivy table uh, tray centerpiece real quick. We'll do that. And then we'll move ourselves over. And I'll show you a couple of things here. And then we'll move ourselves over to the ivy table and we'll decorate over there. I'm going to fluff here for a second. All righty. I think that's going to look really pretty up there. that big pumpkin sign underneath of it. I think it's gonna be super pretty. All right, there we go. That project is done. So now we pull over my tray here. Oh no. Well y'all, it is not my day. What can I say? I knocked one of these candlesticks off and I can't find these candlesticks anywhere and it broke. Chris is over at the counter right now with some super glue trying to fix it, but we're going to continue on with the video here, um, making up this tray design. How about that? And you'll just have to picture another candlestick here. If not, I will find something to replace it if Chris can't fix it. But for now, we're just going to pretend that there's another candlestick sitting right there. Oy vey, what a day I've had. Anyway, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little design in this hobnail vase. I got this from the Minuteman Mini Mall. I got that, these three, the trio of uh, vases from Kirkland's when I did get them, but it's been a couple of years, so. Anyway, uh, I will show you the rest of what I have here to work with in just a second, but you can see here I have Ivy Table Tray written on this Ziploc bag. So we are gonna use what is in the Ziploc bag for the Ivy Table Tray and see what I come up with here. Just some leaves, I see. I think I, I didn't put everything in the in the vase, I think I did use some of it on the tray itself. So we're just gonna start and see what I come up with here. I do wanna add some blueberries in too because I do wanna, don't wanna forget the blue that I'm trying to just accent with, you know? And I actually think that looks kind of pretty just like that, huh? I do have some gold. And they're blue. Some gold pieces that I put in. You can you see this base here? This is going to go up on top on the top shelf, and then what's in that blue bottle is going to go on the top shelf too. So I will show you show you up that up close in just a second. But I did use some of these gold 
sprigs in both of those. So I do want to add some to this too. Just to pull in a little gold for this design because I am using my little squirrels and they're holding their gold acorns. So I am using one down here in this tray and then I'm using one up on this top shelf. So I am a little discombobulated today, I will admit, you guys. Not quite on my game. So I apologize. But we just keep on keeping on, right? Doing the very best we can. pretty. I'm going to put that over kind of in the back of this tray. Again, picture a third candlestick there. And we're going to put Mr. Squirrel in here too. And it tilted that way. And then I have just some leaves and whatnots left here, so I think I am just going to give him a little bed of leaves to sit in. We do have some pumpkins that can come out and around here. Do just a smidge in the back here to cover up all the stems. There we go. Then I do want to put a sunflower right here in the front, just kind of to because there's sunflowers kind of throughout the decor, so I just want to add a little bit of a sunflower in. And again, the blueberries. And I'm gonna get another sprig of this gold. that will do it and hopefully we'll have another I hear him mixing up what are you mixing up epoxy or something over there no. oh, sounds like you might have fixed it I don't know well it'll be what it is <laughs> but hopefully it'll go there I do have these gold Acorns too. I only have two. I bought them at Hobby Lobby and they only had two left at that time, I think. And so I only have two. So I'm going to incorporate these over on the table somehow. And I have uh, blue and white pumpkins from that uh, Etsy shop that I couldn't find actually, uh, that I used the pumpkins up on the mantle for. I'm going to put them in. And uh, I also have these 
this little scarecrow and lady that I got from, I think, Hobby Lobby or and that, one or the other. Again, this stuff is not new. All of the stuff I've used for years and years. So I'm also going to use a couple of plates. And I got these plates from Walmart. And I believe I got them last year. I got a set of, I think, six or eight of them. I'm going to use two of them here. So uh, I use them to eat off of, actually. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use them here. I do have really pretty uh, Thanksgiving plates that we use all the time. But I thought, you know, in a pin, I think I had everybody here for uh, my birthday a couple years ago. And we use these plates. My birthday's in mid-October. So... All right, so now I'm gonna move over to the Ivy table and we are gonna do some decorating over there and hopefully that will go a little smoother than my debacles over here have gone today. Again, I apologize. I am a little bit off my game, which is a little bit unusual for me. So please excuse me and pardon me. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody, I think you can see the top shelf here. First thing I wanna put up is this big blue bottle I got this bottle at a secondhand shop, I don't even know how many years ago, several years ago. But I wanna put it right here on this side. And then I'm gonna take this white vase that I made up. This is a milk glass vase and I did this real quick yesterday afternoon. I should have done it on camera, but I got started on it and I couldn't stop. <laughs> so I actually want to put this over on this side in front of the two black candlesticks there with the blue candles in them. And then I want to put one of my plates over here like this. I'm barely tall enough to do this. Ugh. There we go. And he is gonna go right here. Just like that. And I think I'm gonna put this away for fall. Although I do have blue and white. Wait a minute. I do have blue and white that I'm gonna put down on the table. So actually, I think I will just snug that right up there. Just like that. Just to pull the blue and white like that and what's going to match down here on the table. Here comes the hands. He's decided he's going to put this around the bottom of the squirrel. Well, that just made it perfect, didn't it? <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Hey, you guys, here I am down here sitting in a chair. <laughs> and, you know, I have so much I want to put on here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to organize it and get it placed the way it's going to look nice. But I love all of these pieces that I have here. And I'm going to see if I can get them arranged. Uh, first of all, you know, I have this little scarecrow and his little lady friend. I have this blue and white pumpkin that I want to pull in because of the blue and white I left up there. And the the accents of blue around. I have this little blue pumpkin. I'm actually going to um, snug it right here in this tray somehow. You can see Chris uh, brought the other white candlestick in and it's kind of hidden back there. So let's uh, try to help it out a little bit more and we'll just snug that there, which you really can't see. You'll see when I take pictures of it. I really want to use this milk glass this is what they called a wedding cake dish. And the reason they called it, this is a large wedding cake dish. And you can see it has leaves on it. And one of you guys gave me this beautiful, beautiful dish. And one of you guys told me the story that goes along with these wedding cake dishes in that in the old days, I'm not sure when that was, <laughs> but whenever they would bring the wedding cake out in these dishes, and then take the lids off and snug the lid down underneath. It fits, it snugs right up in there and they'd set it on the table and that's the way you eat your cake. And then you take the whole dish home as a, um, as a favor. 
Can you imagine? My goodness. Anyway, so I do want to use this because it does have these beautiful gold leaves on it. So I do want to set this here. And I do want to use these beautiful uh, acorns. Turn them around the right way. And this blue pumpkin. I don't know. Well, it kind of doesn't look bad there. It kind of looks cute there. I like that there. So that is all I'm going to do. This plaque is nothing but cardboard, you guys. I've had that, oh my goodness, two decades. I used to use that to decorate uh, the mantle in our old house. We've lived here for nine years. This fall, it'll be nine years that we've lived in this house, you guys. Can you believe that? Uh, and I used and I used that for every bit of five or more years over there to decorate. So I dug those out. Again, everything that I've used in this decor are things that I've had in my coffers uh, for years and years. This pumpkin, the pumpkin garland is actually two garlands wrapped together. I did get that since I've lived in this house. I believe I got it from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby one year, but I've had it for several years. And we wrapped, like I said, two two of the garlands around one another, just intertwined them, and then we wrapped it in brown corded white lights. Then you can see the yellow stars or the gold stars. I've had those for years too. I've never used them though. I've had them in my garage and they've been out there and every fall I have forgotten to use them. <laughs> I got them the same time I got the cream one. Y'all know you've seen that cream star hanging there for how long? So I finally remembered the day to go out into the garage and get the, the gold stars. So I hung them there. They're wooden, came from and that. All the stars came from and that. Uh, and then as when we get back, I actually did uh, do a little flower arrangement in a longer burger basket underneath this part of the table. There's a shelf under the table and I'll show you that. At the end, I will either just put pictures or we'll do a video real quick from top to bottom. And again, picture the, you know, that pretty pumpkin picture that's going to go up in place of the Kincaid picture up there. And I think that will really pull it together. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with this now. I really, really like it. Oh my goodness. So I will, let's move over here. And I do want to talk to you about the tree. I'll be right back in just a second. If you guys, there you can see the, at the as the tree topper, you can see that I put up that uh, birdhouse that I got from collections. It, actually, that is the only new thing from this year's design here in the Ivy table. New thing that I bought new. Everything else looks new, but I pulled it out of my coffers. <laughs> but I made up this tree a couple years ago now. This, I think, is the third or fourth year for it. And it is just a, you know, evergreen, six-foot evergreen tree. And I just took a funky bow there and made a funky bow swag, you know, right underneath the topper. And I just stuck a, you know, a, a scarecrow in there and just pick upon pick upon pick wrapped in white lights. And it just turned out so pretty. And Chris literally carries it up and down the steps, just like that, you guys. You see the bucket below there? Uh, Chris made a contraption inside of the bucket to hold the tree up and uh, made that out of wood. And then that is just one big swag on the bottom of leaves with a bow on it on the bottom just to cover the, you know, the very bottom of the tree. And I've got a scarecrow sitting there. And then just the give thanks sign came from the Dollar Tree last year, I believe, or the year before. So anyway, that is the entire Ivy table design. Get over here in front of the camera. And we'll do some final words, and then I'll take the camera down and do some final pictures. All right, let me get you turned around here, or get myself turned around. Okay, okay. You guys, here I am, back in front of the camera. Oh my goodness, in the end here, this has been the most discombobulated mess of a video that I think I've ever produced, you guys. <laughs> I do not know, I've got a lot on my mind. I've got, you know, we've got the pool coming. I've got a lot going on. I've got my, you know, I'm always thinking of the next decor. I'm always thinking of what's coming next, and, I've got a lot on my mind. I, I have to admit, I just will admit that. And so I am a little discombobulated, I will admit. So anyway, just part of me, we're gonna just chalk it up to some comedy today and broken broken uh, candlestick and all and 
Chris fix it and we camouflage what, you know, a little line that's through it, but whatever, you know? What is it we used to say when we used to stencil back in the, back in the 80s, you know, we always used to make mistakes and we'd go, oh, oh no, and then we go, it's okay. It's the beauty of stenciling. And so today I'm just gonna give myself a pass and say, it's okay, it's just the beauty of crafting and it's the, just the beauty of decorating and it's just the beauty of videoing and it's just been a tragedy of errors all over the place today, you guys. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in. I do hope you will subscribe. <laughs> I promise I'm a lot more pulled together usually. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for stopping in here today. Stay tuned for Mischief with Maverick and, a, and an ending, either pictures or videos of everything up close so you can see everything that I did up close, including the, the wreath on the door back there. But for now, I'm just gonna go into my final words and say thank you all. Thank so you all so much for stopping in here today. For those of you who might be struggling or suffering, with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. With all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.